Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Boys, it is Monday and it's market outlook time and this is a special one because this is the final market outlook video of FIFA 21. We have gone all year, every Monday, talking about the market, of course, like a normal market video, but of course, taking a look into the rest of the week and what that could hold. And we are inside probably what is the last promo week of FIFA 21. Now we'll talk about potentially what they could do a little bit later in this video, maybe like a preseason promo, which I wouldn't really consider that a promo. I think footies is the end all be all of FIFA 21 in terms of big time content. And man, it seems like they're trying to go out with a bang. So I want to take a look, of course, today at the content we had yesterday on Sunday with the upgrade packs and the R9 SBC, along with the Lingardino SBC, which was great value. And then also take a look at today and into the rest of this week and how I expect things to go for this final week of footies. We are basically at the end. We are at the end, boys. And yes, indeed, we can look at the end and we can be at the end. But I also want to just remind you guys of where it started, man. This is the first Market Outlook video of this year in FIFA 21 on the web app. Literally like four or five days after the game was out, we were grinding the coins, trying to get our coin totals up. Man, it's a good old Monday Market Outlook. But... A year of Market Outlook videos. I love this series, man. If you love like these Monday videos where we take a look into the head of the week, I just like it because it just kind of maybe sets the week up for you. If you weren't thinking about it, I just think it's a good one. So if you like it, make sure you give it a drop, a thumb, drop it a thumbs up down below and comment and say that you do like it because this is something I would love to continue inside of FIFA 22 and I plan to do so unless you guys say otherwise. But let's get into it without further ado. First things first, I want to take a quick look back yesterday and take a look at the content that we got on Sunday because it was banger content, man. It really was. And it's all around this 82 plus player pick, which only gives you three options, but four rares, gold, uh, non rares for the rest of the team. 60 chemistry is a bit of an issue, but if you buy from the same league or nation um, for your rares or non rares, you should be able to get the chemistry decently easy with a couple of position change or correct positions inside of the squad. So it's not terrible, right? It's doable. I think the 82 plus part to this is nice. Again, we had these same player picks released two weeks ago and I like it, right? I'm a fan because it's pretty cheap. Now I packed a bunch of fodder cards from that today. And with that fodder, I'm going to be able to go out and do the 91 plus the 87 times 10 finish Renato Conte, all those SBCs that are out. So I like that this is grindable, right? Of course, the 87 times 10 to more people is probably going to be, I guess, better for crafting higher rated squads, which I agree with. But these 82 plus player picks were hitting pretty good for me today. I had like seven in a row that were special cards, a lot of tots cards, a couple path to glories and summer stars threw in there. So I like this as a price point for where we could see just, just a pack that we can have. Like basically, I have 800,000 coins left. I plan on rinsing just about all of those coins this week. Um, on upgrade packs and trying to pack these big boys before before they're gone, right? And it didn't really push gold rares up that much. They were like 900 coins um, on Friday night and on Saturday a bit. Now they're about 1.2 to 1.3K for most of them. But what it actually pushed up more so was non-rares. The non-rares actually went up a lot in value. A lot of these cards still looking like they're around 900 to 1,000 a piece. We had squad battle rewards tonight, so that's supplying a bit of the market. Might actually make them kind of cheaper at the moment, but that definitely pushed up that range of the market, that part of the market, those non-rares and a little bit of the rares, um, just because again, and this is a player pick that's not too expensive, that's 82 plus, and you're getting good fodder from it, and it's just fun to do, right? So you can definitely be doing these this week. I'm going to be doing a lot of these, rinsing into 87s times 10s and all the other upgrade packs and SBCs that will be out. That was a W in terms of that content. Now, we also had a footies uh, May favorite. We had the footies April favorite in Renato Sanchez, and they dropped this 95 rated Lingard, which is a really insane boosted card. To be honest, big fan of this one. I'll be completely honest. It's just a cool card, right? And at the price tag of 100,000 coins, it doesn't have to be for five star, five star to be OP and meta in the game. It's just fun, right? So I'm a fan of this Lingard. That's a GGMU, if you will. So good stuff there from EA Sports. That's a fun card. And again, I think we're going to have more footies content in terms of a player SBC today on Monday. And I'll get into that in just a second. But I think maybe this Lingard could be a slight hint at what could be coming soon. Maybe, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that for a second. Now, we also had the, 
The beloved R9 Moments SBC was dropped yesterday. Now, a lot of people thought this was going to actually require icons. It didn't. So, no Icon Moments player SBCs this year have required icons. I don't see any SBC they would drop after this that would require icon cards as a requirement. So, I was a little bit surprised by that. But we had the first ever 92 rated squad requirement for R9. Two of those, 291s, 290s. I mean, 389s, 488s. It's really, really expensive. And we were somewhat close in our guesstimation of what this R9 would come out as. Right now on Footbin showing 4.1 million coins. A lot of these SBCs are down a little bit since you've got, of course, SBC fodder dropping with squad battles, tradable supply. But, I mean, this R9 SBC, if you've been waiting all year for this card, I just... Yes, it's cool that we have an R9 Moments SBC and that you can get him untradeable, but yay, you get to use him for two and a half to three weeks. And then the game's over and the new one comes in. So again, I like these SBCs. I just think they're at least a month too late. At least a month too late. If these were coming out in like early July and we still had, you know, some of the Euros promo going on, we were still going to have footies after this. The problem is like you've got this R9 Moments card. Yes, it's R9. It's a Moments icon. Icons just kind of feel a little bit different on the game, a little more OP. But you also have so many other striker cards, you know, like an Ansu Fati. Um, just all these other items in the game now that have boosted insane looking cards like these footies items, you know, the path, the glories and the summer stars that it's like, wow, I can get a card that is just about this good or maybe even better in some rights. And I don't have to go and, you know, submit 27 squads and 4 million coins worth of fodder into this SBC. So it's cool that we got the SBC, but also I think it's just, again, too late. I think the timing is the biggest thing, but the fact that we're getting these SBCs is nice. So GG's to EA Sports on that. If you really want to grind R9, here's your opportunity, right? I'm not stopping you. Anyways, that was the content from yesterday and it was decent, right? I want to take a look at content today on Monday as well, because that's Mondays have been pretty big content days. Now the past few weeks, Mondays have always been the specific league Player pick, right? Last week, League on week before that, Bundesliga. And then we had the La Liga, we had the Premier League, and we had Serie A specific player picks that were released. And then we kind of knew what was coming on Tuesday with the Weekend League Plus requirements. Now, that's probably not going to happen this week, but I still expect some sort of upgrade pack, maybe some sort of player pick. There's nothing added into the code right now, according to Footwatch, that would make us think there's some sort of crazy pack coming. But a player pick obviously doesn't have to be added into the code, so they could kind of drop whatever they want to today. Now, I don't think that will be the center of content today. I think that today on Monday, we will have potentially one of our last votes. I don't know if they're going to do a vote today. Because if they did a vote today, that would mean an SBC on Wednesday. That might be our last ever footies vote for FIFA 21. So be on the lookout for that today. But also, I think that with the Sissoko SBC being a close call item, I think Mondays might be close call days, if you will. This Sissoko was released last Monday as a close call item who almost win, who almost won. And I honestly think that with the Lingard SBC that was dropped yesterday, I might be reading into this just a little bit. I might be reading into this just a little bit, but I think there's potential. I feel like there's potential for our close call SBC today to be the main man himself, Mr. Anthony Martial. I think it's very possible that we will see an Anthony Martial um, SBC because if you think about it, right? Premier League with N'Golo. We have French links there. Martial was obviously, is obviously a French striker and links to Lingard. So maybe they're kind of trying to push you towards Prem, towards French a little bit, towards GGMU maybe. That's just me kind of using my theoretical mind there. It might not be Martial at all today, but it would make sense, right? The EA could be getting people hyped with Akante, links to Martial, links to Lingard. Nice little triangle right there with green links all around. So that's just my interpretation of what this might be pointing towards. So, you know, we'll just keep an eye on that for, out for that today. But regardless, I do think we will get one of those close call SBCs. So Silas, again, David Silva, maybe, um, Todibo, Martial, plenty of options of cards that did not win their vote that could get SBCs today. I do think we will see one of those. And those are the main things that I would be on the lookout for is a voting Um a vote for a new SBC that would come Wednesday uh, for a Martial or a close call player SBC. And then also um, some sort of like player pick slash upgrade pack league specific or not. I don't know if we're going to get new weekend league plus objectives this week. 
Of course, the League One weekend link objectives are going away. A lot of your League One cards, as expected, are down. Some of them are down that much. Um, like Neymar's down, Neymar Tots is down just a little bit, right? You have cards like this, Neymar's uh, Summer Stars item as well. You know, it dropped off a little bit out of the weekend league, but a lot of people, I honestly think, with all the links to Messi, they didn't really sell a lot of these cards. So just kind of holding on to them because it's their end game team. And you're like, you know what? I bought these guys and I'm done with it, right? But if you were specifically doing for specifically doing uh, or building your squad to kind of match up with the League One objective, I mean, this guy Marquinhos, I have some, I believe, unless I cleared it. I had some on my transfer list, which I did clear. Um, I was selling him in the middle 80K range on Friday night into Saturday. This guy was 84,000 coins. I sold two of them, them there. Now he is 34K. This is a perfect example of a League One card that was purely just bought up for the weekend league hype for links, right? Because Premier League, or uh, League One center backs, there haven't been that many, and especially not that many that are on the market currently. So that's why you saw that card drop off so much, in my opinion. Same thing with Bamba, right? This guy's what, 27, 29,000 coins? He was upwards of 50K at his peak on the weekend. Paredes was like 80,000 coins. He's now down to 62. A lot of these League One cards are down, but some of them are down crazy amounts because I think it just depends on like end game squads. Um, you know, this Marquinhos center back card, probably not an end game player. That's why he really um, dropped off a decent amount. This Mbappe actually dropped off some too, right? 1.085. That is down a little bit. So, you know, some of these cards might bounce back a little bit this morning. I'm kind of watching Marquinhos, kind of watching Paredes to see where they go because they just got so low, man. 34K for Marquinhos. Is, it just seems really crazy after knowing that he was 80K earlier so not a lot here to like forty thousand coins if i could snag one of these like in the 30s on bid or something tonight i might do that but i mean who's trading in august right if you're trying to trade in august maybe that's a shout for you but of course this is still in packs too so if we get tradable pack supply which that's another thing to talk about we haven't had preview packs since last thursday we have not had preview packs uh this is i have unassigned items so it's not going to take me to the store but the only we haven't had preview promo packs let me rephrase the only thing we have had has been our usual 5K and 7.5K preview packs here in the store. No promos or bigger packs that are previews. So I find that very interesting. That almost makes me feel like preview packs in, in terms of promos are done. Uh, you know, with these, I'm not sure how much longer these previews are going to stay in here, but it almost seems like that we are done with preview packs until FIFA 22. Now, I'm pretty sure that they are going to be in FIFA 22. That's a whole nother conversation we'll be having later on, but... Um, that is kind of something that we noticed. Didn't see Friday, didn't see Saturday, didn't see on Sunday. We had normal lightning rounds, but we did not have actual preview packs. So I found that really, really interesting um, over the weekend that they just kind of stopped that. Now, I don't remember what they're, they, they had like one of those little infographics in game that said, hey, we're gonna be stopping this at some point. I don't remember what that point was though. So maybe I missed that date and to, or this weekend was actually the date where they were going to be done with the preview packs. That very well could be the case. Um, but you know, right now it's just kind of like, it feels like, hey, we kind of like those and people were getting used to them and now they're gone. So that's kind of the, the pulse around those preview packs right now on uh, the market. But again, I'm really curious to see with the rest of this week, what EA does with some of these SBCs, right? Because as we progress through this week, right? And we look towards like Friday, what's going to be happening on Friday with no new promo? What I mean, what's going to be going on? Are they going to do a preseason promo? A lot of the stuff, basically all the SBCs expire under the live tab, except for some of your really big SBCs like Messi, the Lingard that's brand new. Uh, most of these cards are going to expire on Friday. You take a look at like, you know, the 92 plus moments player pick. Um, some of the champions upgrades have a few more days, right? Of course, because they'll go through this next weekend league. You'll be able to submit stuff for them. Um, but a lot of the footy stuff is going to be done and over with. So is it going to be a hard stop and there's going to be no content? I really feel like that's not, um, going to be the case. We had the preseason promo in FIFA 20. Um, and I want to show you guys this FIFA 20 last year with the preseason promo, it was sort of similar to footies, but it was like a mix between footies and a couple other things. Like they threw old cards back in packs, but the big thing was play foot 20 to get rewards in foot 21 at the start of the game. So I feel like this is like the last step for them. And it's worked out really well, I think for last year. And if they're really trying to keep engagement up for the last couple weeks 
on FIFA. Of course, we have a new set of icon swaps. It'll be coming in like two weeks still, September like 9th or something like that. Again, icon swaps, FIFA 21, like what? In September? Anyways, um, I do think that you will see some of these sort of objectives or SBCs to gain some of these you know, not very expensive, but still kind of decent, right? Two coin boosts, five games at 500 coins a piece. That's not bad. Engine, anchor, chemistry style. That'll help out earlier on with some of the gold cards we'll have on our starter squads and stuff like that. So um, this is the kind of thing that I think could be next, right? We've already had best of packs content. Uh, we've already had these new players that have come out. We've had new SBCs with footies. I feel like this is really the only piece of the summer FIFA schedule that has been missing. And that is what I think could be coming later on after footies is over. I don't know what they're going to call it. Of course, last year they called it preseason. Um, I don't know if they're just going to not brand it as a promo, maybe a loading screen later on this week, but I'd be kind of surprised that they would try to like make a promo out of it. it will they re-release cards and packs? Of course, right now we have batch three that is in packs, 200 players with the best of the best in packs right now. Again, I'd be kind of surprised if they did that, to be honest. Although what I could see them doing is putting the best version of every single card in the game. They've done that in past FIFAs, and I feel like that's the only next step, quote unquote, forward. Uh, if they wanted to try to keep stuff in packs is they could say, hey, every single player in this game, whatever their best special card version is, unless it's their gold card, then we just put their gold card in packs. But they put that best special card forward. It's so like Firmino, they definitely put his 99 rated um path to glory card Conte. they would put this uh one of the man of the matches or this what if card you know salah tots um havertz ptg pogba ptg stuff like that like so we would still keep a lot of the summer stars and the path to glory cards in packs but you would obviously add a decent amount of other like man of the matches in forms and stuff right now that are just random gold cards that are in packs now we'll see if they do that because if they're still coming out with sbcs that would really take a lot of the supply for like gold cards 81s 82s 83s away even more than it has been so i don't know if ea wants to do that we'll just see what kind of content they have planned but that's kind of my idea of what could be the content that is next um of course as we we still have 18 days left in the season just went away over here but season eight still has got 18 days left on it um i think you know the icon swap things as well have seven days 12 hours so they're going to reset um in a week um on Monday and we'll get the brand new ones. I guess it's not two weeks, it's one week until we get new icon swap tokens and you can finish off your Zidane or whatever icon packs that you're going after. Uh, so that'll be coming next week. But again, really curious to see how the end of this week is gonna shape up, but I'm gonna be entering the end of this week with no coins. It's basically gonna be the end of the game for me as I see it, especially with some other things going on, which I'll talk about later in some videos um, nearing the end of this week. But, um, this is my full send week, man. I'm going to get Renato done. I'm going to finish off the uh, 91 times five, trying to pack a 99 rated card. I have not been able to do that. And that is my grind that I'm really trying to achieve. The Nani SBC, throw a cheeky Kaylor Navas in for that one, of course. And the Big Mac Gignac SBC, I want to get that done. I want to get the content get done. I want to get Lingard done. Just kind of card collect, right? You know, put the, the Panini, make the Panini cup, uh, Club collection looking pretty good. So... That's just kind of what my grind is, is going to be this week, probably through mostly 82 plus player picks and other fodder that I have in the club. Going to start doing those SBCs and completing those cards. So that's the market outlook for this week. The last one of FIFA 21. It should be fun, right? Hopefully some player SBCs. I would be a little skeptical on objectives unless they're going to have these objectives run past the end of the promo date, which of course... Um, Adama's got four days left and a tall went away. Wow. I actually did not end up finishing a tall. I missed out on that one because I did not play enough games in them, but it is what it is. He would have not made it in my team anyway. At this point, um, might have to do Adama though. He torched my spurs yesterday. They didn't win, but the man was creating like crazy. So just a fun card to have. Might have to get this one done. Maybe use the other versions like the 92 version or whatever it was, uh, for fodder. So that would actually help. But anyways, I don't know about objective this week. That's all I was kind of pointing out by looking at that section. Mostly SBCs, maybe one objective, we'll see, but we'll really have to see the time frame on that. And if they start to maybe show us things that could be happening after this Friday. So that's the market outlook for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up. And again, comment down below if you want to see this uh, this segment, I guess, or this series continue in FIFA 22 on 
the channel. Of course, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.